Welcome back again to my channel. This Nigerian man just stated the reason why he thinks Ghana is better than Nigeria. This is his reason why he thinks Ghana is better than Nigeria. And he brought out evidence to show you guys that actually Ghana is better than Nigeria according to him. Let's watch this video together and then we'll come back and react on the video. If I talk, see, Ghana better pass Nigeria, they say why they talk. Show, show them. ECG, whether they call Nepal for Ghana, just can't change our meter. They don't even change our finish. You. They still give us card for free. You don't pay for anything. Can't give you something. I don't even know. Wait, I can make an open up. Oh, battery even day. Can't give remote where you carry control the meter for free. You don't pay anything. No. Nigeria still they protest <laughs> for waiting to pursue us. They say bad government. They come to ask us why they protest. See you for Ghana. Free meter. Free remote. Can't even get battery joint, you know, pay one naira as a Nigerian living in Ghana for free. You person who come on them now say, I talk say Ghana better pass Nigeria. Why I no go talk up? Why I no go talk up for your country where they call Nigeria? They feel give you free meter with free remote, free card. Can't get what you call 50 CDs card inside, meaning almost 6,000 naira free light, free light. Then inside this thing, so this thing, new meter, free light. Too. With his battery, that protest by I will come join us for Nigeria. Make I go inside, I go pack my things. That protest, first of August, we move. Man, a man, this guy, I just love his vibes. He's on TikTok. This guy, he said a whole lot of things. He said the reason why Ghana is better than Nigeria, and he brought out evidence, you know. This evidence, what he brought out here was uh, the meter, the net puppy that's ECG brought to their house here in ghana and when they brought this is uh, this meter they did not they did not collect a penny from them to give them all these accessories that comes with the meter you know back home in nigeria a lot of people are going through a lot in nigeria you know when i tell you that the government of nigeria is doing absolutely nothing about the people of nigeria i wouldn't lie to you you know there is a whole lot that needs to be done in nigeria there's a whole lot of things that needs to be implemented in Nigeria that is not being implemented and it is called the giant of Africa if a country is called the giant of Africa there are a whole lot of things they need to put in place you know but looking at it looking at how Nigeria is now my brother my sister I don't know I don't I'm just praying to God that everything gets better but when people compare Nigeria and Ghana and tell Nigeria oh Ghana is better than Nigeria in this way the whole Nigerians will come in the comment section and bash you and insult you. You know, real insult are you, your families, your generations, and many other things. And meanwhile, they are the ones suffering all those things. And people that are talking about these things are not with them in Nigeria. Just like this man, a man, this guy is not in Nigeria, but he's seeing things that happen in Ghana and he's usually to compare his home countries. And those things do not actually happen in his country. I can remember some years back, back in Nigeria. We got a prepaid meter in our house, you know, install it. We have to call the, you know, people from the Nepal office to come and install it. The power oil company in Nigeria to install it. They charged us, you know. We paid for the meter. We paid an, a huge amount of money for the meter. You know, before you can be able to get the meter, if you want a fast one, you pay like a, a huge amount of money to get it. But if you want it for three months before they can be able to deliver to your house, you know, you pay some certain amounts, you know, and most times you don't get to see it six months. If you don't pay that sharp sharp money, you won't get to collect your meter. So people tend to like pay quickly to get their meter, and they will have to bring people that will install it. After installing it in your house, these people are NEPA people. After installing it, you have to still pay them some amount of money. And most times, the prepaid, I won't lie about this, the prepaid in Nigeria comes with some amount of money. I think 1000 or 2000 naira. So if it's exhausted, you have to start recharging again. It happens like that in Nigeria also. But still, yeah, so far so good. I'll keep on comparing Ghana and Nigeria because there's still a whole lot of gaps that we're seeing here in Ghana that doesn't really happen in Nigeria. And when we talk about it as content creator, a lot of people start to insult us, start to say, oh, you're not patriotic enough. I am a patriotic Nigeria. I love my country. I want something good for my country. And that is the reason why I'll keep on talking about this here. I want something like this in my country. I want something like this in my country whereby they can come and install the lights without taking money, whereby all the accessories should be given to me without having to take a dime, you know. So electricity in Ghana is a thing. When you compare it to, to Nigeria, the gap is huge. 
the gap is very very long let's take a look at this video then we'll come back and react on this before ghana used to spend a lot of our foreign reserves importing electrical cables from abroad and it was not helping on our economy at all i know we are all aware of this so we appeal to all the graduates especially the electricians to patronize made in ghana cables we encourage all of you as you are going out to work in your various fields to buy local manufactured cables we encourage you to buy from tropical cables we encourage you to buy from nexans we encourage you to buy from Cigna, Reroy, and buy from San Cablo electrical cables because we produce good quality and our prices are affordable. We have a special package for all the electricians, so please bear in mind, after we are done, kindly come to our stand. We have vouchers worth 1,000 CDs for each of you to come buy our products and also some souvenirs for all the graduates here from San Cablo. We say congratulations to you all and thank you for partnering with us. And we are proud to sponsor the overall best candidate of this event. Thank you very much. On more day of flight in Ghana, you know, reach 30 minutes before I reach out to the owner. I go with you. Play the item. I'm on the watch. I'm. Everywhere is on like this. So, Ghana know they play. Oh. Check it out. Mamma mia. I'm on the watch. I'm. I drive. I can't reach here. Charlie, this view is the most beautiful view in Ghana. Wow. The Ghana is here. <laughs> play there, I talk, baby. Um, uh, that is Accra, very far away. Wow! And they're on top of mountain like this, so you see them. Uh, <laughs> I don't top of mountain like this, I didn't. <laughs> but truth be told, there are still some things Nigerians need to emulate from Ghana, you know? There are still some things. So when we talk about development, we are not talking about the population Nigeria has or the amount of people that are well to do there. The people that are well to do has nothing to compare, has nothing to do with the economy or how the people of Nigeria are suffering. What we are after is let Nigeria emulate Ghana. Mm. If this one will pain on if this my talk will make you guys get angry, let's uh, get angry. Let's like Nigeria emulate Ghana system of government. You know, there are some countries you look at, look at your brother's country, look at your sister's country, and see what they are doing better that you're not doing as a country in Nigeria, and do it properly. Nigeria is a giant of Africa, like they said, but the giant thing is not giant. Thing. The giant is just like a dwarf. Yes, the giant is just like a, 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 a nkuke. A dwarf is not giant, it's not doing the work of a giant, it's not showing people that actually Nigeria as a country is a giant of Africa. The government should do better. The people of Nigeria are very, very good people. When the government put things in place for them, no one will have to like travel out of any country, travel out of Nigeria to go to other countries to go and look for greener pastures. If the government decide that, oh, we want to stamp ourselves off in uh, private uh, cars, we want to stop driving uh, the most expensive cars in the world, we want to stop buying. Uh, stacking money in the house in the warehouse the time nigerian government are going to rise up and put the people of nigeria first before themselves you see that nigeria will become great you will see how nigeria will become great when the government of nigeria decided to like put things aside and make sure the country is doing well then you'll see how beautiful the country will be look at right now in ghana a lot of infrastructures are going on the government are putting in things they are making sure the people of ghana are comfortable but in Nigeria, yeah, you see bus go here and there. You'll be driving with your cars, you'll be repairing your cars every day. In Ghana, yeah, there, you cannot repair your cars every time because there is no bus that is damaging your, 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 your cars. There, there is no water, water log, like gutter water, that you pass, you, your cars will swim inside the water. It's not damaging your engine, it's not damaging anything in your car. 
you know and people are here living their life their best life here in ghana and they are comfortable why can't nigerian government do the same thing look at the, the electricity the nepal people that came to install light free of charge without having to take any money why can how can we nigerians get prepared without, without spending money at least from there as the government are deducting from our electricity tariff let it be like that then telling us to pay for meter and outrageous amount and we still pay for uh, electricity tariff and after everything we're not getting the amount of money we pay for the lights to consume and enjoy our electricity in nigeria nigeria most of the places in nigeria are full of darkness and there are some places in nigeria that have light yes i don't like about that there are still some places in nigeria that have constant electricity that i myself have experienced i've seen it so I don't know what you guys think about this video for my Nigerian people. Oh, sorry, you, because I don't know what else to tell you. I just hope and pray your government do better and improve Nigeria because when Nigeria improve, I myself will be proud. Government is doing so well, you know. My government is doing so well. When that time comes, I will still talk about my country that oh they are doing so well in this, they are not doing so well in this. I don't know what you guys think about this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. Please turn turn the bell notification to get notified whenever I post amazing content and please subscribe to the channel also see you in my next video bye